Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be inspecting Newcastle squads, finances, and overall setup. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all FM18 related content moving forward. I've been staying up way past my bedtime and up early this morning trying to get each and every Premier League team in there. And now it's the time of the Geordies. So let's waste no more time and jump straight in with the video. So here we are, folks, live, St. James's Park. Big announcement. Rafa Benitez gone, and I swoop in there and take over the reins. But uh, should you be a someone who's just purchased this FM18, you might want to consider taking over the Geordies. They do have some financial clout, considering they just got promoted from the championship. Um, so big expectations, I'm sure, from the Geordie faithful and also the Geordie board. Um, let's just take a look at your home screen. On the home screen, you'll tech check. You'll see what you've got lined up for the preseason. You got uh, a visit of Copenhagen uh, and Berno. You have to have to play Berno, who caught, off the top of my head playing the Czech League. Yeah, that's right. They play in the Czech League, and you also take on Volendam, and that sounds as Dutch as it can be. Well, I think you must have a, a annual clash with Gateshead, and and also a visit to France with Reims. So that's pretty much just a quick glance at um, your preseason. Again, I think this is, they are random, so your your preseason may not be this, the same as mine. But let's jump into the stuff that matters, um, that being the finances. So you come into the Premier League with it just looks like a measly ten million pound budget. Looks like my Ashley's been a bit stingy with his uh, with his cash, um, and a wage budget of one point one million pounds. Uh, you can possibly make some adjustments. Uh, doesn't look like you can go that far, only to 11 million. But according to the board, they reckon they'll give you 90% of any transfer revenue that you um, that you make from selling some players. But anyways, take a look at your under 18 setup. Uh, young goalkeeper, young Finnish goalkeeper, tops your uh, tops the players here. Otto Huntanen, six foot two. 17-year-old Finland player. One for the future, I'm sure. Any key standouts? I don't know the uh, the setup here. Who's this Tong to Togan fella? 18-year-old Togolese. Potential centre-back of the future. How about the value? Who's the most expensive? Lewis McNall. He's getting on a bit. 18 years old. And Oliver Long. So... No, ma no major standouts there, to be honest with you, unless I'm missing something. Into the under-23s. Let's get this sorted out a little bit better. You've got five keepers in the under-23s. Matt Seltz. He went on loan somewhere. Where did he go? Anderlecht. No, he's on loan from Anderlecht. Um, Freddie Woodman. Potential. Uh, still 20 years old. What's his statistics like? Obviously, I'm just generally picking at some players here at random. Um, if you're a Geordie, you probably know who the key players are. I do not. Look at this. You have a massive under-23 setup here. Ivan Tony, he's at Wigan. We know that. I know we were sniffing around him over the summer, but we didn't pick him up. Adam Armstrong, another one who uh, who is decent at League One level as a rover. Um, that's the stuff I'm looking at. He was pretty pretty decent for Coventry. I think they got relegated and he bagged in 20 goals. That's uh, that's something. He's now at them weirdos, Bolton, down the road. Um, who else do you have? you got uh, Rolando Ahrens. He uh, didn't make the grade to the senior squad. Uh, the big names in here. Um, I don't, yeah, to be honest with you, not, made, not, some, not many standouts for me. Let's have a look at the value. Obviously, Matt Sells. Who is on loan? Arif Lazar is also on loan. So these players don't even belong to the Geordies, but uh, they're in there. Masado Hadiera, 4.2 million. 20k a week. <whistles> That's some big money uh, to be in the reserves. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, your lot. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Let's have a look at your main squad. These are the players you've got to work with. Um... Another two goalkeepers in there, Rob Elliott and Ken Darlow. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Ken Barlow. Carl Darlow, he's in there. 
uh, youngster. I think he is your number one at the moment. Um, and then you've got a mixed bag of players here. Uh, Joe Liu, I think you picked him up from Stoke this season. Um, yep, that's right. He's also got a goal or two in the real world. Henry Saviat's wanted. Who's after him? Leicester. Leicester want this fella. DeAndre Liedlin. He's on the transfer list. Um, looks like uh, Rafa didn't want to have him on the books. He's wanted elsewhere. Who's the most important or who's the most valuable asset? Matt Ritchie, 20 million. John Joe Shelby, also in there, 17.5. Mohamed Diami, 17 million. And Dwight Gale, 15 million. Let's take a look at the contract situation. Looks like they've got things pretty much sewn up. Uh, Jesus, Jesus Gamez is the only major concern. His deal runs out in the summer. 32 years old, possibly going to go on to pastures new. Um, let's take a look at some of the um, expectations for the club. Board wants the uh, the Geordies to avoid relegation, so stick around in the Premier League. They also want to reach the fifth round of the FA Cup. So you've got to win a couple games there and also reach the fourth round of the League Cup and you enter in the second round. So win a couple games, maybe get a favourable draw, early doors, and that should do ya. Uh, as for your team report, like I said, in each and every one of these videos, you might want to pause the screen here and you can have a good old read and good old uh, uh, check out this stuff here um, because there's too much stuff to, to reel off. Squad depth. Take a look at the squad depth situation. Uh, left side of midfield looks looks like an area that could be improved. Uh, I'm not really liking your forward line, to be honest with you. Mitrovic would probably score some goals in the Prem. Um, didn't really like it in the Championship, but he's back to, to the top flight. Dwight Gale, can he make the grade? He didn't do so well at Palace. Where was he before Palace? Peterborough. Meh. Yeah, so here's his second crack at the whip at the Premier League. Can he do the business? Um... Possibly, possibly. Uh, he's, he's still young enough. Oh, he's not. He's 27. Oof, he's getting on a bit. Golly. Uh, who else? Let's move on to the dynamics, squad dynamics. Uh, dressing room atmosphere is pretty, you know, average, just like it says right there. Obviously, the match cohesion and the uh, managerial support is poor because I've only just taken over the reins. How about the hierarchy? Jack Colback seems to be the, the, the main guy. He's going to have your captain's arm bands. Or not, this guy here. Lascelles is, um, is currently skipper. Drummett, John Joe Shelby, Matt Ritchie, and Mitrovic also could be considered as captain. Um, but maybe you want to take a look at this guy. Leadership's 13. Let's compare it. Meh. Yeah. Obviously, I think they got that spot on. Social groups big monster core here a lot of potential for mentors tutors that kind of stuff as for your overall happiness it should be over the moon be back in the premier league um is there any kind of sort this out no i can't jack colbeck um team leader not really feeling the greatness um a couple of players very happy Looks like Dwight Gale is happy to be back in the Premier League. Isaac Hayden, happy, very happy, extremely good, but he's on the transfer list. That's concerning. Um, and Rob Elliott is excellent. He's in tip-top shape, ready to go for the new season. Can the Geordies do the business and at least stay up? But uh, I think they've got more than that. They've got more capabilities than that. They've got the fan base. Um, and I think they could uh, be top 10, um, especially if they've got the right man in charge. In the real world, they do with Rafa. In this one, they don't because they've got me. Anyway, that's all I've got for you for now. Um, if there's something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League team over the next few days. However, if there's a team out there, you know, maybe in the Danish League or the German League or the Dutch League or whatever, if you want me to give me an, uh, do an overview, just let me know. It takes me just a couple of minutes to do so, and uh, I will whack it on the tube for you. Uh, once the initial craziness of the beta and the actual release of FM18 calms down, I do plan to do some game saves. So please check back on those ones. I've got some cracking storylines uh, up my sleeve. Um, but until next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.